down close, up close. So when we break below that, I want to see when price starts to run, we're in an area where I anticipate what? What's the inversion fair value gap expected to do? Create a resistance factor in price. It should accumulate more shorts. It should offer smart money the opportunity to get in and add, or like you see me many times do, pyramid more short positions in an existing short position. Our next up close candle is this one. Does it respect it? I don't know. What does it do on this one? Does it bump the bottom of it and run lower? The next candle? Yes. But you're looking at this and saying, but see, I got ICT by the balls right here. Here he is. He said that the silver bullet every single day it happens between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock, between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. There's four opportunities for you to quit your fucking job and you're worrying about everything else in the world about trading and who's doing well on social media. Stop. You're missing these opportunities because you're not focusing. You have to look at this price action in the times I'm telling you to study it, and you will see exactly what I've said is the truth. It's not made up. It's not contrived. It's, myth it's not mythology. It's not animal patterns. It's not anything but the truth. And more specifically, it's going right into the gap between this candle's low and this candle's high right there. That right there is your London Session ICT bearish silver bullet. It's going to fucking be there every day. If you don't know how to read price, if you don't know where it's going to go, if you don't know how to read the tape, this is reading the tape, anticipating where it's going to go. Fucking level two data, your order book bullshit has absolutely no rhyme or reason why price is going to go there. That's spoofing. You can, you can fake all that stuff. You can't fake or spoof the open, high, low, and close of these candles as they're forming. You can't spoof reading actual real-time price action. You can't spoof that. You can do it incorrectly. But once you understand what you're looking for, you're anticipating these things. Once the market's likely to keep going lower, that means you're in sell-side delivery. That means the market's going to go lower to take stops below old lows or reach into an inefficiency below the market price. That means some kind of fair value got below market price. But if we're looking for an entry here for the silver bullet and we're looking for it to trade down into sell side, this red level here is the sell side liquidity pool below the relative equal lows on this level here. That's this red level here. So if we go back into the 30 second chart and we're trading in this level here inside the silver bullet right there. But ICT, I don't. I don't have the, uh, the uh, access to 30 second charts. Get it. Because you're going to miss some of the silver bullets if you don't. Okay, because all I'm looking for is that small little separation where there's an actual inefficiency. And I'm going to tell you what, exactly what's going on right now. At that moment, right in here, as soon as price trades to this candle's high, and as long as the market is above half of this candle's body, which is mean threshold. Algorithms, high frequency trading algorithms are firing in short orders constantly. Boom, 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 as fast as you can get them in there. As fast as the market will absorb it and take them in, high frequency trading algorithms are selling the fuck out of that. And it slows down when it gets to about right there. That selling by the algorithms is not pushing price down. Because if it was, it wouldn't trade up while it was doing it. The market goes up to offer the entity that I collectively refer to as smart money. You're not going to see them. They're not writing books out there. They're not going out there and making courses for you. 